Okay, so let's look at chapter four and begin to talk about systems in equilibrium. Right? The conditions of equilibrium say the resultant of a force system has to be zero if it's in equilibrium. So two conditions have to be satisfied. The sum of all the forces and their components have to be zero. Okay, and the sum of all the moments about an individual point have to be zero as well. So what that means in terms of math is the sum of the forces is equal to zero, which we can break down into two different equations. The sum of the x components of the forces is equal to zero, and the sum of the y components of the forces is equal to zero. So we have two equations from that condition of equilibrium. And then finally, we also can write the sum of the moment equations, all right? We say these are the three laws of equilibrium. Right. A free body diagram is just a sketch that shows the body isolated. Um, and it, then we show all the external forces acting on the body. All right. We can draw a free body diagram of this knot. Right. And we would start by drawing a single point for the knot and we would draw a force that represents the tension here, okay? We would draw a force that represents the tension here, and we would draw a force that represents the force acting down at the knot, okay? So it would be a single point with three forces coming off of it. You can look in your book to see the solution to that problem, right? We could also draw a free body diagram of the weight, all right? So we could draw it as a box or a single point, and we would draw an arrow to represent the weight of the force acting down, and we would draw an arrow to represent the force of this rope pulling up on the weight, all right? You can again look at that example in your book if you'd like to, all right? Um, free body diagrams and reaction forces. Every type of connection has a different representation in a free body diagram. It has a different type of reaction force. So we have some different types of connections, rollers, pins, smooth surfaces, those kinds of things. All right. So here you can see the representations, okay, for how some things work. A roller, all right. You've already seen this connection in some of the problems we've been working, all right? It could also be a roller on an inclined plane. A roller only has a reaction in one direction. So if it's a roller like this, it's going to be in the y direction, all right? If it's on an inclined plane, the reaction force will be at an angle with the y-axis, okay? That is equal to the angle of the inclined plane. The same is true when you're talking about a block on the smooth surface, all right? So if it's on the inclined plane, there's going to be one reaction force, the normal force, okay? That's the force of the ground pushing back on the block, and it will also be at an angle with the y-axis that is equal to the angle of the inclined plane pinned connections. You've already been dealing with these as well. They have a reaction force in the y and in the x direction. So they're going to have two rea reaction forces. All right. So now what I'd like you to do is to go back please to that. Be sure you've watched that University of Wisconsin and Flash presentation on free body diagrams and work through that and think through that then try to do the problems um, in your book as well for free body diagrams. So hope that helps. Thanks.